Okay, I came up with something um, something I like. It's a little different, but a little bit the same. I re-examined what I was looking for and why, and I modified the table candle to a, a completely different arrangement. Um, the initial table candle that I showed in the other videos was this. It's a modified CFL on an ignition coil that was triggered by a little two transistor circuit nothing but a couple of transistors and a voltage regulator a similar similar voltage regulator to that right there that knocked the voltage down in the, the amp draw and let me run this at a very low light for a long time in fact it ran for 97 hours non-stop it was over four days and I recorded all the times and the voltages on the the drive battery, which was just an um, 8 AA rechargeable 1.2 volt batteries. And it worked. It worked quite well, but the light was very low. It was a very low light. So I worked and worked and worked on trying to get the light up, but still retain the long run time. And it was extremely frustrating. I ended up with multiple circuits and went round and round and finally went back to uh, basically my Christmas gifts uh, idea. And what this is, is um, just a standard inverter circuit that runs a normal battery-operated um, CFL, uh, not CFL, but fluorescent tube. But when I added the voltage regulator to the system, I found out I could dial the power consumption down to something that was similar to what happened over there. Now, I'm not going to get 97 hours out of it, but I think I'm going to get some real good run times. And the way this works is you get the bulb going, and then you dial down the voltage regulator. So let me turn it on and show you how it works. You see, I just turned it on. Nothing's happening. You can see that or not, but that's drawing 20 milliamps right now. The circuit's running, but nothing's happening. Now I'm going to go in here to the side and dial up the voltage regulator. And this is going to pop on. Okay, there it goes. Now... I'm going to dial this way on up to where it's bright, which is what I wanted. Now that's drawing quite a bit of juice, but I've got real good light out of it. And this is what I wanted. I wanted something that I, I had decent light. Let me turn the lights down. I'll show you what it's like. But I could also, uh, yeah, it's decent light. That's light that you could read by. Yeah, it's, it's decent light. And this is something that I wanted. I wanted something that had the light when I wanted it. But when I wanted to dial it down, I could still retain light and lower the uh, amp draw down. I'm going to dial this down here. Okay, now that's dialed all the way down. See if I can show you the... And that's 50 milliamps. And that's uh, 50 milliamps is something I can live with. Now that's going to run at least a couple of days on those batteries right there. And that's what I was looking for, something that didn't have to go four days, but was decent light uh, when I wanted it, and then it would still be enough light to see by, read by, and last me a couple of days. And uh, this, this uh, is, is going to work for me. And the way I built this, let me turn the lights back up. I, I built it with an internal battery as well as an external source. So... What I have here is everything inside there, including a 9-volt battery. And uh, if I plug this up to the 9-volt battery, I think I'm going to get at least 24 hours run time out of the 9-volt battery. Or I can hook it up to an external battery source of any kind. And with the voltage regulator, which is right in there, uh, I can dial this up or down to whatever kind of amp draw I want, depending on the light that I want. And anyway, this was something that uh, I worked on today and decided that this is what I've been looking for, something that was a combination of the best of both worlds. Unfortunately, it's not the circuits that I've been working on, but it's, it was a learning process, and, and by learning how to use this adjustable switching step-down voltage regulator with a standard inverter circuit, I came up with something that I really like. Anyway, this is the table candle Mach 2, model number 2, and uh, something that works for me.